Hi Pisces, welcome back in. Well, let us see what messages come through for you, Pisces. Reverse the roles if needed. Switch the cases. Let's dive in, right? Oh wow, transformation, death energy. Pisces, I see strong awakening included here. You know things are ending and you're in entering a new chapter here. Some new chapter of your life. There's some transformation happening. Wow, there's abundance. Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn energy here. I see Eight of Pentacles, King of Pentacles energy. For some of you, I see strong dedication in work, Irena. You know, for some of you, I'm getting this message that your financial condition is changing. If in the recent past you were experiencing some trouble in your work life, I see abundance coming in. Moreover, I see all fronts of your life are getting more stable, right? There's a change if your love life was more or less haphazard. I see some transformation happening on that front too. Very, very stable and grounded energy. And for some of you, I'm getting this message that the eventual outcome is definitely going to be, you know, dependent on your hard work. But you're getting that good support from the universe to work hard. You know, it's like the outcome is going to be what you deserve, right? The justice energy. But you are getting that sufficient time. You're getting that sufficient caliber and you're getting that sufficient support from the universe with this transformation card to bring change in your life. Now, how you utilize it is going to be in your hands, right? Beautiful energy, very supportive vibe here in the this you know arena very supportive energy from the universe change anything you want in your life right so we have six of swords walking past something wheel of fortune and three of cups i see five of pentacles energy for some of you pisces i'm getting a message that you guys have decided to abandon something or somebody right there can be somebody in your surroundings who's feeling cold and left out this person tried reaching out to you they tried uh you know taking things forward with you they're very angry though but i see they were guarded they were very guarded and they were silent and this eventually led to some kind of departure for some of you somebody was angry and they were waiting for you to make the move but i don't know i'm getting a vibe that you decided to walk away from something and end a chapter in your life for some of you this can be money matter also where you were feeling financially some kind of struggle and you're walking past that struggle now right I see the Wheel of Fortune here in the center. This shows me that the troubled times are over. Six of Swords already, you're moving towards the positive energy. And Wheel of Fortune is the end of that troubled time, right? This is the right now card, right? In the tarot, where we see that the past cycles are dead over and the new cycles are starting from here. And whatever new is coming towards you is going to bring in more celebration, happiness, togetherness in your life for some of you reconciliation for some of you meeting new people but i definitely see that you're deciding to abandon something and walking on in your life right only taking the responsibilities along which are important rest i see you abandoning something okay what is next coming up for pisces hermit okay i do see that it's a difficult decision pisces it's a difficult decision for some of you, I see strong Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn energy in your surroundings. Again, this is love also, but I see some financial matters are intertwined in your love life, right? I see there's a, this decision is very difficult. You're definitely moving forward and starting new chapter in your life. You might feel like, you know, rekindling, going out, dating new people, or simply meeting somebody, friends. You might start dating somebody who is a friend, right? I see very friendly energy, friendly vibe as this chapter ends. But Hermit shows me that there is some pinch, something that still hurts you, right? I see there's some distraction. This can surround Taurus Virgo Capricorn. For some of you, the one you're dealing with, I see this person is trying to gain stability because for some time they were going through some anxiety i see maybe right now this person is going through some anxiety because their life is giving them some new opportunities and for a lot of you i see communication gap i see you turning away from them right because of some reasons i see this departure and i see this person is somehow getting new opportunities and they love you and they love you or they loved you i see they were very confused for some time because they wanted a partnership here and i see they feel very anxious about not 
taking things forward with you because I see you stuck. For some of you, I see there's a concrete reason why you cannot move forward in a partnership or why you are stepping aside from something, right? If this is not love, you might be stepping away from some partnership, from some business deal, from something that is huge for you, right? But somehow you feel very distracted because there are questions on your mind. This, there are questions surrounding the stability of that thing. There are questions surrounding the longevity and there are questions surrounding your future in that thing, right? Hanged Man shows me that universe is giving you sufficient time to ponder on these questions, right? By that, I mean that um, whatever this is happening, again, from the very beginning, I'm getting that universe is giving you sufficient support in the situation. You might not understand it. You might not realize it right now. But for a lot of you, I'm getting this message that universe is giving you sufficient time to look at, look at the situation from in and out, from right, from left, so that you can make learning decision. And hangman shows me that energy your perspective about things will change in the near future in the upcoming week i see that you're distracted and distressed about something but your perspective about that thing is about to change very soon and the best part here is pisces that you guys are going to be very happy about it right again eventual outcome cards as we proceed forward in the reading they're about happiness they're about changes though with delay but changes you're starting with negative emotions but you're moving towards very positive energies and eventually for some of you i see you might find somebody new if you are walking away from somebody or in the recent past some chapters have ended in your life i see new partnerships coming in right and if right now you are distressed because you don't want a partnership to end for some of you i see your uh, perspective about a commitment a bond a contract this can change or a relationship maybe this can definitely change in this week your perspective about something is changing okay moving forward Pisces let us see moving forward what future holds for you let's see five of swords i see very strong decision making queen of pawns and ten of swords very very interesting ace of pawns now for some of you i see in the near future a new passionate offer is coming your way right if you were distressed in a connection as again from the very beginning i'm getting a vibe that you might feel like bring changes in your life you might end some chapters which don't serve you anymore and for that you might have to strategize things right in the near future i see you're planning you're strategizing you're cutting things off for some of you some people in your surroundings might think that you're selfish you know you are just keeping the facts away or you're just doing stuff on your based on on your mind based on your own mindset but you can see these people distracted distressed upset walking away but there's a feeling that i need to look at myself right now right because i see you have been through some deep soul searching phases here and now as this perspective change happens you might make decisions which other people might not like but that's a good thing to do right queen of wands and for a lot of you this is your own energy you guys are becoming hot you guys are becoming go-getters so from this energy to this energy this transformation is amazing this week right i see that eventually in fact after the week this is the week's energy and after that i see you have the eyes on the price and for that if you have to end some cycles if you have to end some chapters and if you have to put full stop to some things that don't serve you anymore i think you're ready for some of you, I'm also getting a message that for some of you, in past, you were just dragging something out of responsibility, right? And because of that, you were not able to achieve or explore something you wanted in your life. Maybe a connection, maybe a relationship, maybe a business deal, something you were just dragging in your life, Pisces, and you were not able to achieve your 100% potential right for some of you this can be a new person entering the scenes right aries leo sag but for most of you i see this is your own energy especially if you have strong fire in your chart i see you guys making plans to drop something from six to five there's a step back right and you are becoming a go-getter so the moment you realize that some things have served their purpose in your life you might end those chapters and you might head towards your real happiness right very interesting energy what's coming towards you is a very passionate new offer
can be coming from a cancer Pisces Scorpio or this can be somebody you really like you really love you want to you want to manifest something here right I see that manifestation energy someone might be willing to manifest something here with you and in the upcoming week I, I would say after the week not in the week after that I do see some communication happening in that front and this can excite you this can give you some new excitement right amazing energy so you're dropping the stuff which no more serves you and I think you're becoming a go-getter you exactly know what you want in your life and you just want to be in that energy right your intuition is telling you universe is giving you that time to support that energy right what are you moving on from let's see what are you moving on from yeah there, there has been some ending recently in your life I'm, I'm strongly getting that you decided to end a cycle and a chapter here world to see can you see the cycle two of pentacles itself is a cycle so world two of pentacles and the wheel of fortune all these cards are showing me that a chapter in your life ended and you're moving towards your happiness right so what is the soul searching energy then what is the soul searching energy for you knight of cups i see there was a love offer that really made you happy but because of some reasons you opted not to accept it or maybe you're pondering too much about a love offer right now and you're confused whether i should be proceeding forward or not for some of you there are some other reasons in your life which are stagnant and which are full of responsibilities and they're causing some issues and because of that there is a beautiful new opportunity which is getting delayed right and you're very upset because that beautiful thing is something you want nine of cups ten of cups nine of cups this is what you want this is what makes you happy right but the problem is i think the distress energy is that there is a lot of conflict in your surroundings five of wands different people are dragging you in different directions but you exactly know what you want you exactly know what you want here right so what is this delay then what is this delay here looking at things in a different light nine of wands for some of you i see there's somebody who i'm getting a vibe here pisces that in your personal matter which is now coming to an end you might feel that there's somebody who always creates a roadblock in your forward movement and this can be a specific person because i see a look here you know like giving somebody a tough look that dude you always create problems for me what the fuck is wrong with you right talk about this person <laughs> right again queen of cups i'm sorry queen of cups king of cups energy here i do see passion i see love ten of swords i definitely see something is coming to an end i see some chapters are over and you're just putting them to full stop you are burying something here and you're opening yourself to a new connection here right now this doesn't have to be one love ending and another love starting sometimes they're just different aspects one aspect ending new aspect starting right what is the strategy what is the strategy we're talking about lovers you're opting love honey you're opting love i see you have strong attraction for somebody again a lot of cards are showing me that you have love for somebody you have a strong attraction for somebody Pisces and you want it to manifest in your life and I see if it requires strategy if it requires some uh, some changing of facts or something that has to be hidden if it requires anything I think you're doing that you for some of you I'm getting this message that you might feel like hiding your past from somebody somebody you're very attracted to somebody you want to manifest in your life you might feel like there is some distressing past here which you don't want to share with somebody right what is this queen of wands hierophant yeah i do see moving towards commitment for some of you commitment is on cards if you are exploring something new and you're attracted to that you might feel like committing to this new energy or at least you know giving it a try how stable it appears seven of pentacles king of wands six of cups and ten of wands again the past again the past energy is dying out i'm strongly getting that vibe king and queen of wands energy now this is crazy attraction here you are super attracted to somebody and i see you are trying to manifest that commitment and that connection in your life for some of you i see the chemistry is very very strong very strong and it's not just chemistry it's a promise along with chemistry it's a promise that i don't want to try it i want to see where it goes 
but for the rest of you this is also the energy where you're deciding what you exactly have to do for some of you i'm getting the conflict between financial stability and love matters right Ten of Swords, the past is finally over. Six of Cups, Ten of Wands. I see there's a burden surrounding past energy, right? And that drags you down every time you try to move forward towards somebody or towards a specific connection. There is a past situation that drags you down. But I see here, the good thing is that you're making a decision to drop it, opting the right thing for you and walking out of the situation. And eventually, I see the past is finally coming to an end. So it's a massive thing it's not a small change it's like you're entirely dropping something here right and a lot of energy of ending a new beginning a lot of energy cards showing me new cycles cards showing me complete ending complete ending to something of the past beautiful okay Pisces the Sun oh my god this is the best card as the outcome chariot interesting plans that perfectly work out amazing ideas that lead to rewards and the commendations gratitude for the blessings of life and we have sun wow we have queen of cups here success that comes from dedication and self-discipline celebrating your accomplishments being in the spotlight very positive energy Pisces you're coming you're moving towards amazing positive energy it's just that the transformation in the beginning was difficult right and for some of you I see there is a love opportunity that you really want to explore you're super attracted there's a big magnetic connection here and it has a big potential of commitment also right so maybe there's a feeling that i have to quickly wind up some things which no more serve me right amazing energy here amazing pisces fates yeah i do see this i do see this change in wind there's some chapter you know it's like a 180 degree change happening here if it was going this way i see the cycles ending and the direction changing changing wind and fates with all these cards like i can show you at least 10 cards here queen of wands king of wands lovers you know and uh, wheel of fortune hierophant all these card cards me that get ready for something really exciting right what else pisces needs to hear what else pisces needs to hear practice compassion see things from a fresh perspective now again can you see hanged man energy your perspective about some things is going to drastically change this week be open to it and have faith have faith trust your faith in the situation if your heart is saying that this is something you want in your life it's a magnetic connection it's something that i really want to manifest take the leap of faith right that is what i have for you guys thank you so much for watching bye